Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving, uh, well, we could be actually giving our review, but she won't have much to say about this movie. <laughs> uh, but I review for Beavis and Butthead do the universe. Um, just got through watching it. It dropped today on Paramount Plus. Um, so I'm going to try to get this filmed and get this out today. I enjoy Beavis and Butthead a lot, so I was pretty excited for this. Uh, my wife, on the other hand, she doesn't care for Beavis and Butthead. Um, I will say she did get some laughs out of it, but she said it was just very... It had its moments, nothing that she loved. Uh, what would you... She said she wouldn't watch again if you didn't hear that. What would you give it for your score? A one. A one. So, uh, definitely not up her alley. Um, but I'm not into that type of raunchy type stuff anyway. Yeah. Uh, so if you've never seen Beavis and Butthead, uh, if you've never, uh, like, if you've watched it and just haven't, didn't enjoy it, uh, if you've watched it and didn't enjoy the older TV show, I would say just to skip this. Uh, it doesn't change anything. There's still it's still the same comedy. There's still the. Uh, it's the same style. So if you, I would just say skip it if you aren't if you didn't love the older stuff. If you've never seen this before, I would definitely say give it a shot. Um, because this can give you an idea of what the TV show was about and. The movie before this, Beavis and Butthead to America, uh, what it was about, or like, like, um, but, like I said, I'm a fan of Beavis and Butthead, I own a lot of the, I own almost the entire, sh at least with the, uh, the show, um, at least what's put out, I know some have said it's not the complete set, but, um, I own quite a few of the, uh, individual releases that they did for, like, uh, their specials and some of the special episodes and stuff. I do own, uh, the America one. I will own this when it comes out, because I know it should get a release. I really enjoyed it a lot. The same classic Beavis and Butthead. Um, very raunchy dirty comedy uh the main plot line is they get sent back get sent forward in time get launched from I think it was 98 to, to our time in 2022 and uh they are trying to score as i say throughout the whole show with this astronaut uh woman that uh, which, uh, uh, part of their, during their space camp, when it was at space camp that they met there. Um, and it's basically their journey to try to score with her. The animation, uh, I like. They didn't do any kind of updated, uh, animation style. They kept it, uh, the way it should be and the way this, the look it should have been kept. Uh, which I uh, respected. I'm, I'm glad they did that. I could not see a more updated graphics Beavis and Butthead. I was worried about the graphics as well before we w started watching it because I was like, oh God. Because they've been forever. So I was like, yeah. are they really going to update it? Or what's it going to look like? They, if they updated it... It would have been a whole lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> if they had updated it all, I couldn't really tell. They did a really good job if they did at keeping it looking like the original style. <laughs> Didn't you just, sit down? Just sit down, damn it. Um, but, I mean, there's not much to say. It's Beavis and Butthead. You either love it, you either love the, that stuff, either, either love their show and their movies, or you don't. Um, you know, and like I said, if you, if you're not a fan, then don't, and I would recommend not watching it. It's not going to bring anything new. I was sort of afraid 
that they another worry I had was they would they would bring they would make it too much like the Me Too stuff. Is that, that's what yeah, it was called, the Me Too I stuff. Yeah, I was worried there was going to be too much politics stuff in there. Yeah, politics stuff. And there really wasn't. I mean, there was like one scene where they end up in a college class and they sort of, I think, Hint hinted at that the kind of a stuff. Of men, but that's it. Yeah. That was the only, and that was like, what, not even a minute? Yeah, and basically they went through, after that scene, it they made it into a funny thing because they went through the, the school saying that they were white, they got white privilege and all this kind of stuff yeah. and going through the school and cutting in front of people and grabbing food and just taking what they want because they have white privilege, as they said. Was but that last one? And it, the no. way they did it, did it make it feel like it was getting shoved down your throat? Yeah, it wasn't. So I gotta give them that. It didn't go overboard. Yeah, they didn't go overboard with it, so I really respected that. I think they did a very, just a very overall great job on this movie. I cannot wait to own it. It's definitely going to be in my top ten of the year. Oh, God, we're getting it? Yeah. Oh, God. Love Mothers. I got the rest upstairs except for volume oh, four, I think, of the thing. Why? Wow. It's in my top, it's going to be in my top ten of the year. I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm a fan of the show. <laughs> um... But yeah, if you're a fan of this show, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think it'll give you what you expected. I think it'll bring that nostalgia classic feel back to them. Um, you do get the classic Cornholio scene uh, <laughs> again. Um, so, I would definitely highly recommend it if only if you're a fan. If you're not a fan, I'd say skip it. If you want to become a fan or try it, and you never see nothing, then give it a shot, like I said, and this see. Would, but because of because if you compare like this movie to the show, this is good. This is a very good uh, introduction just to give you a feel for like what the show is, because mm -hmm. the show's like amped up to like a hundred. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot more, a lot longer too. Yeah. It's if a you lot can't, longer. if you can't handle. Two out under two hours of their comedy, you can't handle the TV show. You can't no. handle, you know, because Beavis and Butthead. Because they do a lot more in the show, and the show is well, it's not really that long, but it feels a lot longer because of the time show. Yeah. Um. So for me, this Beavis and Butthead Through the Universe gets a five out of five. Enjoyed everything about it. Didn't have anything wrong with it. Even. At almost two hours, it didn't feel like two hours. It felt like it went by pretty quickly. I didn't feel like... She probably felt like it dragged. No, I didn't feel like it dragged at all. Oh, you didn't think it dragged no. either? That's good. So and that, I hate them, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, the runtime, perfect. It didn't feel like... It felt like an hour and a half at most. And it was like almost... I want to say it's closer to two hours. So, uh, but... It, definitely give it a watch. I mean... Uh, yeah. It is an hour and 40 minutes. I say it probably felt like an hour and 20 minutes ish. No, I mean, I think it felt like it's runtime. I just don't you think it felt like it's runtime? Time. Yeah. Maybe that, maybe, maybe it, well, that's the case. Maybe it just didn't drag, so it felt like it went quicker, but actually, I don't know. It, either way, however you want to say, it didn't drag. We'll just leave it at that. It didn't drag. It, it went through perfectly fine, no no dull moments. So uh, I would definitely say check it out if you're a fan. Um, but yeah, that is our review for *Be of Some Head Through the Universe* on Paramount Plus. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified for our videos, and we'll see you all in the next one.